What's up, Viking fans? Hey, man, I'm like you guys. I am so freaking excited that the Vikings are picking up Yannick Ngakwe from the Jacksonville Jaguars. Uh, I couldn't wait to get into the film to show you guys why I'm excited, show you why this young pass rusher, hopefully after this season, can be a mainstay with your Minnesota Vikings defense. One-time Pro Bowler back in 2017, but this young stud has everything you're looking for to complement uh, Daniil Hunter on the other side. Now, he is a right defensive end by trade, uh, most and primarily a right defensive end. He will line up on the left side at times, and I'll get into the film a little bit to show you some plays that he can make as a left defensive end. He can stand up. He's just under 250 pounds, so he has the athleticism to play sort of like an outside linebacker, but most of the time you're going to see him with his hand in the ground. The things that jump off the tape that I'm excited to show you, his burst off the line. He is so damn quick off the line. He's got the speed. He's got the hand violence that you're looking for. He's got the tenacity. And I think most importantly that people don't overlook is the flexibility that you want with the defensive ends coming off the edge. He can get underneath the offensive tackle, stay low to the ground, and still accelerate to the quarterback. So this very first play is against the Jets. Um, you're going to see the speed rush that I'm talking about, this killer first step in the body lean, the leverage and the strength, all of that uh, going to the quarterback. So let's get into the first play here. There did you see the speed, the get off. And the thing that I want to point out to you at the very end, as he reaches for Sam Darnold's right throwing arm, Keep in mind, back in 2017, he led the NFL with six forced fumbles. So when you turn the tape on, even if he doesn't get to the quarterback, he's always swiping at the quarterback's arm, always trying to get that ball out. But very first play, you saw the speed, the burst off the get-go, the lean and the leverage to get to the quarterback. Let's get into play number two. So play number two, I want to show the same thing from the same game, not only just the burst off the line of scrimmage, but I want you guys to watch the body violence. It's not super technical, but violence wins most of the time. So I'm going to play this one in slow motion. So he gets off of the line quickly. Now here's the body violence right there. Now watch the hip turn, the slap by, and then right there, left arm on the ground quick enough to keep himself from falling on the ground. He accelerates once again to the quarterback. This guy is an athletic freak. All right, play number three. Let's skip to the Raiders. He's on the right side as a right defensive end once again. All right, this one, the last play I, I showed you, play number two, not so technical, more violence. Play number three, much more technical. Watch the way that he uses his left arm, not only to swipe off the punch, but also he resets and is able to swipe off the secondary punch from the left tackle and then get to the quarterback. So then, once again, I'll show this one in slow motion so you can see it. Here is the left arm swipe down. Then he resets. Here comes a secondary punch. He gets him off of him, reaches with that right hand, and corrals Carr for the sack. This dude is violent and technical all at the same time. So for play number four, let's jump back to the start of the season against Carolina in week number five. I want to show this play because, like I said, he's versatile. He can play both defensive end spots. This time, he's the left defensive end with his hand on the ground. This particular play, once again, I'll show you in slow motion. It's going to be a hand swipe. I'll show you again how good his hands are against the offensive tackle. He's going to get the hands off to stay alive. Don't want to get grabbed. There's the hand swipe. He fights off the chip from the running back and then stays active. I can't tell you how hard that is to fight off two guys, still feel the quarterback, and then get in on the play down the line of scrimmage. A lot of good things to like out of play number four. All right, for play number five, you're going to see him as a left defensive end in a track stance, two-point stance, and I just want you to marvel. He's in a two-point stance. This is It's crazy how fast he can get out of a stance, especially in a two-point stance, to make some plays. So this is going to be played in real time. Just sit back and just enjoy this play. <laughs> It's crazy how how talented this guy is. He can play right. He can play left. I've even seen him drop in coverage a little bit if the Vikings want to use him in that capacity. He can rush the A and B gaps and passing downs as well. I think they've got a young stud to complement this defense on the right side if that's how they choose to use him. Uh, so congratulations, Minnesota Vikings. All you fans, I hope you enjoyed this video. I hope you enjoy Yannick, not just for this year, but for the years upcoming. We'll see you. Bye.